while at least, things were peaceful at the Killian's house. Let's go check it out. The only checking out you And then the State Department of Fish and Wildlife chose to appeal. And once again, A.J., Sherry, and their two children are feeling the heat. But this is larger than the case of the state versus the Killians. The real issue here is private ownership of wildlife, what actually constitutes wildlife, and where the state should draw the line. I think the Department of Wildlife doesn't know its own bounds. I think they are absolutely, to me, incredulous in their attempt to find the Killians guilty of a crime. If they took their analysis to its farthest extent, anyone who raised turkeys would be guilty of a crime. But Fish and Wildlife insists the Chelan judge who dismissed the Killian's charges misinterpreted the definition of wildlife. According to Fish and Wildlife, that definition includes all species of the animal kingdom whose members exist in Washington in a wild state. And they say that includes the Killian South American cougars. What they've done is they have taken the definition of wildlife and they've taken the term species and they've said essentially that if any subspecies of cougar lives in Washington, then every subspecies of cougar, no matter where it lives in the world, is wildlife. But Fish and Wildlife upholds previous charges that A.J. and Sherry Killian were illegally trafficking wildlife. Meanwhile, the constant worry about facing a possible 13 years in prison, plus $66,000 in fines, is taking a physical toll on the Mattawa family. They really make you bitter. In Mattawa, Deborah Armstrong for KIMA News.